Hi, my name is Saran Kumar. Welcome to my channel, The Excellism. Friends, in this video, I'm going to explain you one important case study with respect to the bank statement. Dealing with a bank statement is almost like a regular job for people who are into the finance domain. Maybe for the reconciliation, they use the bank statement. Maybe for the investigation, they use the bank statement. Maybe for the audit, be it internal audit or statutory audit. Or maybe in case of forensic audits. Many a times when we dump the bank statement into MS Excel, the description comes in more than one single row. If you observe in this case study, this transaction description is in two rows. This transaction description is into four rows. This transaction description is in just single row. I have observed many a times, members delete the extra line items of the description. I feel that's a wrong practice because description is the one column I feel the most important in many of the audits, be it forensic audit, be it statutory audit or any of the audits. In this case study, I'm going to explain you how can we join the entire description into one single cell. Let's look into the case study. First, let me have how many transactions are there in this entire bank statement. I'm keeping my cursor here. I'm writing a simple if function. As you all know, MS Excel works with a logic. Logic is most important to write any function. If I want to have a transaction number here, I should have a logic that if this is a date, then my serial number has to come. That means my serial number has to increase. If this is not a date, that means if it is a blank, the above serial number has to repeat so that I'll have a column the transaction number. So I'm asking a small question here. Cross check whether this is equal to blank. As you all know, blank indicated with a open double quote, close double quote. That we call it as a blank text. If this cell is having a blank, then just simply take the above value. That means if this is blank, above transaction is still repeating. If not, means if it is not a blank, means if it is a date. If it is a date, I want to increase my transaction number. So, above transaction number plus one. Sorry, close bracket. Let me enter. If I copy paste down, it is one because this is a blank. If it is a blank, it will take the above cell value here. If I drag this down one cell, my answer is two. No surprise because this is not a blank. If it is not a blank, above cell value plus one because my transaction has to increase. When I just copy and paste till the end, I'll get all the transactions with the numbers. If you observe, one is coming two times, two is coming three times, 3 is coming 4 times, 4 is coming only 1 time, 5 is coming 2 times. Now I want to count how many times 1 is coming. I'm going to write a very simple function equal to count if. This function gives me how many times 1 is repeating. Select this column because in this column, I want to look for this criteria. In a plain language, if you want to decode this formula, look into this column for this criteria. Because I have used a function count if, it, it is going to count if it met the criteria. If I enter in this entire column, my one is coming two times. So my answer is two. When I just copy and paste below, you will get two, three, and so on, right? 
if you don't want any value here, it's very simple. I'm going to use a simple if function. So I'm going to have a function called if, if, cross check whether it is equal to blank, then give me nothing. If not, then apply this county function so that wherever this is blank, I'll not get anything. If this is a date, I'll get to know this transaction is repeating how many rows. Enter, just copy and paste. Wow. For every description, I have one value, how many rows that description is following. 50% of our case studies, case study solution is over. Remaining 50% is most important. Now friends, I want to choose a function in MS Excel which can, which can take these two cells and join. Because it is three, considering this as a parameter, it should take these three cells and join. That function is part of lookup and reference category that is the offset function. The only function in MS Excel which can give you the dynamic range is the offset function. In this entire assignment, the most important uh, function is offset function. Let me first explain you the offset function with a small case study. Let me zoom a little in. As I said, offset function give us the dynamic range. Let's say I want to start a cell at from A1. I want to move the rows of two rows. I want to move columns another two. Then can you tell me what is the destination cell? It's very simple. From A1, if I start, if I move two rows down, if I move two columns right side, my destination cell will be C3 cell. Now, from this C3 cell, from this C3 cell, I want to have a height of, let's say two cells, I want to have a width of two cells. Can you tell me what is my destination range? It's very simple. From C3, two cells is the range. So these all are the two rows. Two are the columns. These are the two columns. So my final matrix would be two by two matrix. This is the area I'm talking about. So it is C3 colon B4. C3 colon B4. For example, if it is one, if it is one, can you please tell me what is the answer here? Simple. It's going to be from A1, one row down, one column right side. It is B2. Let's put here B2. Let's say height I want one, width also I want one. That means B2 itself is one by one matrix. So my final destination range also B2. Right? For example, if this is zero, if this is zero, can you tell me what is the destination cell? It's very simple. From A1, zero rows means I don't want to move anywhere. That means my result destination is A1. Columns are also zero. That means the destination cell is A1 only. From A1, what is one by one matrix? It is just the same cell. So my destination range is also A1. If I want to keep everything into one single formula, it's very simple. Equal to offset. There are five arguments. My reference, I want to start from A1 cell. I want to move zero rows. I want to move zero columns. My height is one. My width is also one. So my final destination range would be one by one matrix. Close bracket. My answer will be four. For example, if I, instead of all these four, let me give the reference. I want to take this as the rows, comma, this as the columns, comma, this is the height, comma, and this is the width. Close bracket.
enter it's four because only one single cell now let me delete these two because these two we can fill later because i already written the formula directly let me directly change the values here now for example if this is three if this is four and height is two and width do you know the answer one one two two do you know where is this matrix it's very simple from a one move one two three rows columns one two three four columns from here two by two matrix this is the area it is talking about so what i'll be doing now i just put some function on top of everything if i put some function i'll get the total of two by two matrix if i take one if i take two if i take four if i take three do you know what is this range simple from a1 move one row down move two columns right side from here four rows three columns this area total is 34 this is exactly the value so that is the way the offset function works now instead of sum if I put a function called concat, as you know, concat is the function which can join several text items together. So now if I enter, you know what is the answer? All the values, it kept one after other because concat is the function just simply join. Now check it out from A1, one row down, two columns towards right. From here, four rows, three columns, four five four zero one five two five one two three two and so on very simple now using this combination of the function i'm going to solve my problem equal to offset alkyl you know what is the reference i'm going to start i want to start from here comma i don't want to move any row or any column because this also should be part of my final concatenation. So let me make it zero, comma. Columns also let me make here zero, comma. Height is nothing but how many rows I want to consider. That is nothing but this. Because in this case, it must be two rows. In this case, three rows. In this case, four rows and so on, comma. How many columns you want to consider only one column because I want to concatenate only the values in the B column. So my column must be one. Close bracket. Enter. So these two values, that means offset range, you know where from B2 it's going to start from B2. Don't move anywhere because I said zero comma zero. I said two rows, one column. So 2 by 1 matrix is this. Since it's Office 365, it spill the values below. Now, I want to join all the values. I'm going to keep your concat. So what happened? Concat roll, roll up all the values into one value by joining together. If I enter, these two come one after other. Now, if I copy this, paste below, copy, paste below let me uh, keep little zoom out so that you can see the entire description also let me just reduce the column width now let me copy this and paste here paste copy and paste here when you have so many transactions you cannot copy and paste for individual transaction right if that is the case what i'll be doing I'll use a simple if function on top of everything. Let me put if function. If this is equal to blank, then give me the blank. If not, then only do this operation. Close bracket. Enter. Now you can simply copy this and paste everywhere because anyway we have used if function so if this is blank this is anyway blank if you don't want to use the supporting column of the count if now you can simply do one thing copy this control c now instead of f2 you can 
paste that formula, right? Because instead of the height, I pasted the countif function. Enter, simply copy and paste. Now you can simply hide this column. It's not required. This is the final description. Now what you can do? Just deselect the blanks. Control C. Just insert a new shade. To control V. This is the final description. Just cut this and paste here. I think this is what my solution. You can simply remove this column. So this is what the final solution. I hope you all enjoyed this video. See you all in the next video with a new case study. Please consider subscribing this channel, like the video, share the video. If you did not join into our telegram group, consider joining into the group because there we are going to share a lot of content every day. You can find the link of the telegram group in the description. See you all in the next video. Bye-bye.